Hey guys, firstly, I apologize if you can hear a lawn mower in the background. It's been going on for hours. They are lawn mowing in the park near where I live and I do apologize for that. Anyway, let's get into doing a youthful look. This is my interpretation of how you can get a dewy, soft, youthful look, mainly using cream products. But if you're not confident using cream products, by all means, you can go in with powder products. This is just my take on using cream products, liquid products to get a nice, dewy, youthful look. Now, number one, first thing that we got to do, prep the skin. Now, I am a big believer in sunblock. And the one that I'm actually been using lately is the City Block Super Defense by Clinique. And what I love about this sunscreen is not only does it protect your face really well with SPF, oh, this one is the, um, the SPF 30, but it also gives you a nice glow. So first things first, let's put on some sunscreen. Now I am just applying this straight from the tube. Now the only thing is with sunscreen is sometimes they say, you know, if you're taking photos, it can give you like a reflective look but obviously i haven't tried it so i don't know and i can't tell you but what i love about this product is it gives a beautiful hydrated glowy look now i'm just going to go in and apply a little bit of lip gloss to my lips because they are feeling a little bit dry this is just the nars lip oil NARS lip gloss, lip oil gloss, something like that. I will leave all the products that I've used today in the description box below. Next, we're going in with a gorgeous foundation. This is by Rose Ink, and it's a skin enhancing luminous tinted serum. And I find this is really sheer and light, and it gives just a perfect, very sheer to medium coverage. So if you guys don't really like foundation, this is perfect. But guys, feel free to go in with your foundation of choice. If you want a bit more coverage, obviously go ahead and do that. But this is really just going to be rubbed in with my fingers. You can see it's got little, um, it reminds me of the Chanel serum that burst the water tint. This is pretty much identical to it but maybe just offering a little bit more coverage, I'd say. And it's all in my eyebrows, but that's all right. I'm just working that in with my fingers. Everything is gonna be more seamless, seamless that way. No pilling, nothing, just beautiful hydration. Work it down the neck. Time for some concealer. I'm just gonna wipe my hands off with a tissue. Um, the concealer that I'm using, and I did have it here, is, where is it? Where are you, my favorite concealer? Here we go. Oops, as of late, my favorite concealer has been the Revlon 24 Hours 5-in-1 Concealer, and it's the Skin Awaken. And I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of that on my finger, actually not too much, probably about that much, because it really is a opaque product and I just want a very, very sheer, sheer, sheer application so you can see. And just dabbing that under the eyes, just to cover a little bit of the darkness. Obviously you can color correct and put in a color corrector before you conceal. So go ahead and do that if you do need to disguise any bluish or reddish circles. Okay, and that's one and done. I am really needing to get more stuff to wipe my hands because I am heavily using my fingers today. I'm really needing to, <laughs> I'm really needing to rely on uh, wiping my hands before we go on to the next step. All right, so we've got the foundation on, we've got the concealer. We're gonna go in and put a bit of primer on the eyes. I'm using the NARS primer. And I'm gonna just put a coating of that on the eyelids. 
and working that in. This is a semi sheer primer and it just offers the most, I don't know, it's just fantastic primer. And okay, now I have two products by Auric and I picked these up a while ago, but they're still going strong and they haven't gone off yet. I have two shades, one is Ego and one is Temper. Now Ego is, well, that's the actual sparkle. It's like a two-in-one product. So you get the cream product, which I'll just take the cap off. You got the cream product, which is, this is like a gray slate color. And the topper for that is a gorgeous silvery shimmery shade, like pewter. And then temper is like a rose gold. Oops, got to take the cap off that one. Is a rose gold. And the topper for that is a gorgeous rose gold topper shade. I'm thinking we're gonna use the rose gold shade today. So going in with dip of my finger there and just picking up probably about that much and maybe a bit more. I mean, we, we can always build it up and I'm putting that all over the lid. And I'm taking it up just above the crease. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Yep. Samantha really did an amazing job with all her line, honestly. I do have her uh, um, illuminating primer highlighter as well. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to buff that out with a fluffy brush just to sort of soften the edge a little bit. And it is a clean brush that I'm using. There we go. Taking that up to the brow bone. And then we're going to top that off with the topper, the rose gold topper that it comes with. Really, really sheer and I'm putting that right over the center of the lid. Pick a bit more up and place that there. So you can go ahead and, so I'm just gonna pause the video and go ahead and do the other eye real quickly. Okay, so both eyes are now done. I'm going in with a little bit of brown eyeliner and this one is the Wayne Goss Brown Eyeliner. I'm just filling in the waterline up the top. And it's probably gonna transfer down the bottom, but don't worry about it. If it does, it's fine. Now I'm just gonna line three quarters of the upper eyelid. And then we're just doing a little bit of a flick, not too much. And I'm just getting a corner of a flat shading brush and I'm just running across that liner. You can use a smudger brush as well and just flick it out just to sort of stretch out the, just to sort of stretch out that brown liner. It's just more about adding a little bit of depth to the outer part of the eye. Now I'm just going to make sure that it looks even on my end here. Yep. All right. Now making sure to put the cap on and the topper. It's really important to keep these caps stops the product from getting dried out. Okie dokie, so as you can see, the brown liner has already transferred down to my bottom waterline, but that's fine. We're gonna go in and do some mascara. I'm gonna be using two different shades of mascara. I'm gonna be using brown and black, and I'm gonna mix them together. So I'm gonna be layering firstly the, doesn't really matter actually, I'm gonna layer the brown one first, and then I'm gonna to top it up with black. So this one here is the ELF Lash It Loud in brown, and this is the Lancome Mascara 
the Hypnose in Black. Okay, I'm leaving the bottom lashes bare and now I'm just going in with a little bit of inner corner highlight. I'm using the Urban Decay Moon Dust Single Eyeshadow and this is like a topper in the shade Wild Dipper. Putting the remaining on the top part of the brow bone. Next, I'm just going to be brushing through some brow product. I'm using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. This is in the shade Chocolate. And I'm just brushing the lashes up really lightly. Next, we're going to be doing some contouring and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, the Easy Contour. And I'm just going to be doing some contouring, doing the nose as well, under the jawline. Now I'm just using a, this is actually the rose ink brush that came with the foundation and it's clean. So I'm just going to be buffing that contour in. Now I actually had my roots dyed yesterday, so if you notice a little bit of darkness there, it's because the color hasn't come off properly. Uh, what, what can you do? I tried scrubbing it off as much as I could and it still found it quite hard to come out. Now we're going in with a cream blush and this is by Nude Sticks and it's in the shade Bohemian Rose. It's a gorgeous pink color. I have to still obviously contour my nose. So let's just contour the nose out first. It's just very subtle. And with the same brush, I'm just going to work in that gorgeous pink cream product. Nude Sticks are coming out with these stackable cream to powder shadows, which I'm really keen to get my hands on. But on my, I might just wait until they come into Australia. I might just test them out in Sephora first before I go ahead. Now, if you wanted to add in a little bit more, you know, now if you wanted to go in with some highlight and you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is the, the Westman Atelier Peau de Rose Cream Highlighter and I'm pulling it out. I haven't used it in such a long time. So that's why I am pulling it out today. It's just a gorgeous light pink highlighting shade run my finger in there and dab a little bit of that highlighting goodness and up to the tip of the brow bone and you can definitely use this on the cupid's bow you can really you could pretty much use this highlighter anywhere you wanted to really might put a little bit just going down the bridge of my nose. Why not? Add a bit of reflection. Lips, it's time for lips. Now, I haven't forgotten about lips because I know I just applied some lip gloss. So you can leave the lips bare, but I would definitely go in with a lip liner and I'm going to be using just been really just loving the Morphe Soul Matte Lip Liner in Honey. It's just very natural. Actually, I'm going to just wipe my lips off first because there is a whole heap of gloss on there from the NARS that we just previously used. I'm overdrawing the lips. 
filling in the lips as well. And then I'm going in with more lip gloss. But not too much. One final look into the mirror. Yep. And guys, that is the final look for the youthful, easy look using pretty much any kind of products that you've got. Feel free to use powder, feel free to use cream, liquid products. I just felt it would be nice to use cream and liquid products, especially when you have drier skin. And I think a lot, a lot of the times also maturer skins tend to have dry skin, but you know what, like I'm 49 and still my skin to this very day is quite oily and combination. And I know that my auntie also has oily combination skin and she's into her 60s now. But guys, that is all. Let me know what you guys are using in your everyday products. What are you loving? What are you hating? What are you really wanting to splurge on? And yeah, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, feel free to share it with anybody who you think might get some enjoyment out of it. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.